Well, the, what I want to do is to try and put across a picture of uh, Van Gogh as a person as much as a painter, uh, because there are many very strange ideas about what he was like, you know, that he was mad and he was very rude and etc. person. And of course, that's not the case. He was a highly educated man, could speak three or four languages and could speak about drama, music, whatever. So he wasn't that sort of type. The fact that he did have an affliction is just sort of compounds things. But what's unique about him is he wrote so many letters, not just to his brother, but to his friends who kept them. And what is it that you're hoping to expose through this venture? To uh, ex expose people to what a wonderful person he was, first of all. I've designed the program and I will do the linking, but the important thing are the letters. And those are read by Humbert and Anders. Uh, so he's a very experienced actor, etc. So, uh, and they're not just read. As things go along, it's quite dramatic, the build-up, you know. And, and of course, is now coming into gear. But at the same time, obviously what's essential is that we see the pictures he was painting at the time he was doing the letters. Sometimes in the letter he may refer to a sketch, but the people here will see it, or to the painting. So the, pink, the, the impact is with sound and with vision. And we hope that will, I mean, Van Gogh, everybody knows about him because he's cut his ear off, you see. But that's not what we're interested in. We're more interested in the wonderful painting. I think everybody likes Van Gogh's paintings, you know. He's obviously one of the world's most famous and recognisable artists, but do you think he's still relevant today? Oh my goodness, yes, yes. His pictures are still <laughs> selling at about a hundred million, you know. I mean, at one stage, when he's saying, maybe I'll, I'll sell something one day, I put up for the last five or six years the pictures of, that were sold, and they, they always in millions, you know, and sometimes as much as a hundred or 140 millions, you know. Uh, but obviously, it's not the price of the money, it's the fact that there's something in the paintings that's very thrilling, and not just the colour, 